not gonna sound like French though, <laughs> I can tell you. It's not, gonna, it's not gonna sound like French. I didn't fix the uh, problem of me not having game sound. I am an idiot. Well, guys, can you make game sounds for me? Ahoy! Ahoy! Yeah. I'm gonna make my own game sound. So. We are going to be fine. See how far I can actually get that. Like I know a lot of sounds out of North Carolina. Like, um, <laughs> I feel like I can re build a fum, a fum. Hey yo, hey yo. What's up, Mr. Machu? Oh my God! How dare you? Seeing my ultra uh, secret scroll strategy. I'm the dragon. Ah, okay, okay. Oh, yeah, good luck, then. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It's kind of. Hey, Zizu is playing with me. That's well. Gotta ask Ikiwaru about that. Like, he, he definitely has scars there. Like, I don't want to make pre teams all too much. Um, we can also, like, if we all know that we're just playing together, like, we can also just do a pre made game where, like, Iggy, Zizu, and, Ish, uh, and me, that we're German again, play, like, in the same team. Um, but yeah, generally, when I play ranked games, I will then do non pre mates. And, like, Iggy and me didn't end up in the same game for probably months. Not that long, but. Actually, quite a long time. <laughs> Why did only one coast again? What is with this bond coast spawns? How shall I enjoy my Draugerheim experience? Like, I wanna... I wanna sniff in the uh, Halloween vibes, you know? I wanna be in it. I'm gonna... I wanna... After this game, I want to feel the sudden urge to run out to the grocery shop, buy a pumpkin and cut ice into it. That's what I want. Get that? I sniffed too much today. It kind of sounds like I did already, right? I can tell you. I didn't. <laughs> no. But I can see uh, where you come from. <laughs> Someone didn't pay Shiro tax. It's true, it's true. They took away my generate. App generator. We can always call in like double shipwrecks, lore stones, and stuff like that, right? I can say, like, the app doesn't work anymore. Like, I tried it a few times now. It doesn't register. Just gonna have to go with normal people spawns the <laughs> one coasts all day. Maybe can somebody can hit uh, Shiro up for me. My map generation app doesn't work anymore. I'm sure they're happy to help. Four wolves. Me. Um. Yeah. Yeah. You want to get it, right? Like the problem with pings, I can already tell you is. That you may be able to hear my game sound, but I am not able to hear my own game sound because who the hell knows? Not even that my headset is not plugged in or anything. I can uh, hear the music. No. What a bad spawn. Do I have two foods? I actually have two food. Yeah, yucky. But I have one coast. 
Who is actually happy with one curse? Oh, I like the color of the sea. It looks spooky. So spooky. What could be out there? We don't know. We don't know. It could be Blackbeard. We don't want one thing, then this is Blackbeard. Coming up. Can't kill that many wolves. Too much. I'm just gonna go kitchen night. I'm just gonna go kitchen night me here and still get a dog. For extra lore. Yeah, am I gonna do that? Here we go. I have you. No, I have a villain there. Oh. Horrible. Don't get a warrior. How about instantly back on the lore? You want that? I just go death tree, even though I never really like my thrill is not really I get the relic and I try to win over the meals over the big meal at some point. I'm an army squirrel. I want to fight because I don't have weaponsmith and the worst warriors in the game. Therefore, who wouldn't love to fight with them? Since I have food, I should have built that ages ago. I like my hunters. Obviously, I like my farms way too much. My hunters too, man. Hunters are just steady, good production. I like them a little bit more than fish. building them right now. I feel like the fish would even be the better choice. Now we can self-meal. No, we can't. Yeah, we can. Yum, yum, yum. Oh, so yummy. I don't know if scroll generally goes for jar. The only thing that I know is that jar is good on everything, so I guess you can go for jar. <laughs> I still gotta try out the jar wolf. I can only imagine that it is incredible. Do better than ox without jar. <laughs> The thing is, you don't need to, a lot to enable it. You just need um, a brewery. Maybe even two. But I would upgrade the brewery and you should be good for a while. Getting a dock here for no real apparent reason. I think second wood is the way to go. And we take the ruin. Yeah. That's yeah, true, it's true. Hey, the wolf relic does put it uh like for a wolf, it is an okay relic. <laughs> yeah, let's see, let's see. I got some uh, tricks up my sleeve. In worst case, I'm just Ah, oh, the app is not working. Like, in worst case, I could always just crash the server. <laughs> oh, God. Stuff like that actually happening in other games, right? I don't think you could really make it work in off-guard. 
Oh, I don't want to say that. I'm pretty sure you could make it work on off card, but I'm happy people don't do it. Turrets with Guardian. Hey, that's that's true. That's true. Let's get them scared by towers. Let's get more fishers. Huh? Nobody's ever suffered because he had too many fishermen up. You think? Let's get stone. I have a strong feeling that my food might not be good enough. Um, I might need to pull all villagers back, which would be really shitty on scroll. Literally doesn't give me anything. But minus five is okay. Minus five. I did the I did the good old map, and the good old map tells me minus five is enough. Man, mathematics are insane, dude. Just take numbers, you divide them, you you put them on top of each other. You did you do weird signings next to them, and then you like do stuff with it, and in the end you end up with like a conclusion, which like oftentimes even it's like. True. Wild. When do we start cooking some pizza? We don't have pizza in this house, young man. We talked about this already so often. Like, you can choose between ratatouille, fish soup, bread fish tiles, meat stew, seaboot buffet, and forest barbecue. And we can't have forest barbecue that often, man. It's so expensive. <laughs> I know you always want your forest barbecue. We can't. Uh, oh my god. We can't afford it. We cannot afford it anymore. We are broke. I need to go for my. Spot. The recipe. Recipe. <clears throat> your recipe book sucks. Your recipe books. <laughs> Always want pizza, fries. I don't even know what a burger is, dude. I'm a Viking. <laughs> there is some documentary that tells you uh, what most people didn't know. That experts have found out that the Vikings in the back in their days also ate pizza. Also had IMAX and... Uh, BMW. Just from the sense that I oftentimes watch some uh, Viking documentaries and oftentimes they just find out that they were like really ahead of their time, right? Now Flammkuchen, no sauerkraut, no barfus. Take German streamer. Come on, dude. Come on. I didn't... I don't even dislike sauerkraut. It's just like I haven't eaten it in time, I think. Actually, pretty healthy, right? Probably do that. What does Scarecrow do during the event? Um, It's a pretty important one. Where's the scarecrow again? Can't build it. That is basically what it does. <coughs> Town hall? Yeah, yeah. <coughs> so I can now take my scarecrow and put it right here. So Zizou knows that my pole is looking way cooler than his. Because I put a person on it. Like, he, he just has a pole there. I have a pole with a person. And we have so much funds that we even put a Viking hat on it. We didn't even care. Can I put more? But only one per town, huh? Put run right here to troll the deer. Yeah, the deer absolutely cares. 
that this this scarecrow is working if if we can like uh, uh, uh get together on one thing then that this scarecrow is so scary holy moly oh my god oh my god oh yeah that's that means war now so this and me now have to uh fist fight until one doesn't get up anymore the rule of the scarecrow that's the rule of the scarecrow <laughs> well it happens right it happens can defo lose a beer but i'd say they're generally pretty capable players so <laughs> Just, just wait for it, just wait for it. Losing the bear is actually not that much of a problem, honestly. We did that once upon a time. We just YOLO'd our bears because they didn't um, replenish. There were times where you were more or less supposed to just kill your bear because it only cost 40 food. And respawned relatively quickly so to not heal it you just killed it at the end and got a new bear in three months that were cheaper than just keeping it up and healing it the crazy world of meth again we took the numbers we threw them over and in the end came out healing bear doesn't make sense this time like you can heal your bear for free on the fish tile plus the bear is more expensive so that's why you wouldn't do that anymore I max out on stuff, so I eat. How about a little fish soup, everyone? Yum, yum, yum. Did I say everyone? Yeah, there's a bit really of problem because of my dude. And I'm not even 200. I'm not having the greatest game here. That's okay. Like since I went for kitchen nightmare first, because I needed to clear myself more or less. Uh, like there were six wolves. You can't just do that like easily. Like he needs his war chief for himself sometimes. And uh, that means that I get cooking mastery a little later. Usually not as late as I hit it now. There we go. And now I definitely need 200 fame so I can actually share my meals. And I would more or less instantly do it. Uh, I need... Like I'm... Touching Zizu. I only need this tile. Go for this tile up there, then he can trade me that tile for a second. Should be fine. And 20 food, that should be easy. We just gotta wait a little. that's a now it's a big deal i just say like once upon a time the bear had a shorter respawn time so you could get it back quicker and he only costed 40 food and it were more worthy to do it nice feast here need that uh, now there's no reason to lose anything anymore i think just villagers at the start the math should still come up as better mm-hmm <laughs> uh, the only one where I don't know like Fire Dread and Piraten who did Zizu are already around the stream for ages I feel like Maxu hmm. read the name before most likely also from stream need to give Zizu the tile back. It's just, I have no sound, bro. I have no sound. Thanks a lot. He gave me the tile instantly when I needed it and I uh, didn't even ask for it. He didn't need it that much himself, I guess, but <laughs> this thing where you just need the sounds, right? You hear the, oh, oh. <laughs> get the tile given. 
Man, I love doing my own sounds. The good thing is you can actually hear the sounds which are corresponding to it. I can't. <laughs> Following since uh, October 16th, 2018. <laughs> That's what I mean. Already been around for a little bit of time here, Mr. Fredenhut. <laughs> Uh, it's a juicy five years. <laughs> the juicy tiny five years. Meta made a sound for building ready. I have no idea if you have buildings. I don't know what the building ready sound is again. Oh yeah, yeah, it's the doom. It's basically the same when you... Uh, yeah, it is the same sound when you scouted it all. So you already ha heard the sound just for something else. I only do them once. <laughs> so I've scouted these tiles already. I made the sound. And now you can take this sound and basically implement it into go the house going up. I will later on do that in editing, you know. Like in the background, every time a building goes up, you heard my boom. -boom. Need that for later on. I know that you can actually hear the sound. And you don't need that, but still like to do it for the lulz. Wow. The Gordon build red. Winter sound. Ooh. Right? No. No. Yeah. The winter sound is only like a and then the spring sound is like a boom like you made it to a new year right <laughs> i think in winter ah oh, it's hard to remember man ah oh, we could a north we could make a north god quiz show that would be Amazing. What is this sound? Then it's like a Valkyrie that gets taken over by Dragon Capture. Stuff like that. It is really hard to remember too. No mix. In the blessing, and upgrade of food there. I guess get a silo because after winter, I need to go food, 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 so I can quickly dish out meals. I don't know. Yeah, Zizu already has a scout camp up. Weren't 100% sure if I weren't. Uh, scaling here. Need to do self meal. I think I'm gonna start it right now. Self meal with nothing. No bonies or anything. Just to get my food up, right? And I place the silo there. And get every single woodcutter home. Home. To a villager. Iron there. All food. All food. You can also stop the dog. Mm -hmm. I am getting scouted right now i'm so scared <laughs> actually like i have one war camp but i didn't upgrade my warriors they do too what am i doing here what am i doing here this is horrible oh. hey you see this is what i mean it happens to me it happens to me regularly that i forget that i have a scout out and i destroy the scout camp as I recently learned, it seems to be like that, that if you break down the scout camp, basically a randomizer goes in, a coin gets flipped, 
And this coin decides the fate of your villager. That's how I understood it. I'm just making a 50-50 out of it, right? Everyone just told me there's a chance that the villager dies. And I'm, of course, thinking, yeah, it's 50-50, man. <laughs> it's 50-50, bro. So you might get it, you might not get it. Bro, coin. It's Odin's coin with which he decides uh, which scout is allowed to live and which isn't. Meals. Yeah, I wanted to have a little bit more food. Uh, just so my teammates get their meal like 20 seconds later that I should have done. I have no space, by the way. I've got to be smart for my tile manager. Well, I hope we don't get triggered easy because this thing here is going to stay here for the rest of the game. It is Squirrel Clan, and we're playing on the uh, Halloween map. Everything is really, really spooky. The wolves are white. They are usually black. Spooky. Um, the dragon is undead, and there's a wolf right next to it. Spooky. I guess that's rather a snake in their team, I guess. Scorch birth and sticky. And we have spiders. Spiders are basically bears from the stats. But you have a spider den, which is a completely unique tile. There's also a few old events here that you uh, that were put out. Like the Blood Moon we had in the last game. A completely broken event, which isn't in the game anymore. Um, but you could still play here. Obviously not in ranked mode, because yeah, things like that. Dip, dip. But pretty fun. I like playing Draugrheim. I was pretty happy when it comes around. I think I got the Discord message like yesterday or something. Like, hey, we're in a Halloween event. I'm like, oh, we can play Draugrheim again. <laughs> I like the mix-up, honestly. Maybe it's just because I play a lot of Northgard and just like a small change of uh, scene can already go a long way. We should actually play Coinage. But I'm gonna go shipbuilding with one ship. Let's frickin' go! We even upgrade sailors. Let's see if that can be even close to enough. Oh my god, I'm not mealing! Mealing. Just for again, if there are new, newer players around, uh, we are mealing here and giving all our teammates because I do the ratatouille all the time. It's my favorite one. <clears throat> um, with the upgraded version, so if I go for power and duration, all of like m I get eight of every resource: food, wood, and crowns permanently. This event takes place three months. And then I need to do a new meal because of all the bonuses in a, that I went before. Like usually it only takes one month, but with all the bonuses and with all the duration buffs I do right over here, it takes three months and I get plus eight. <laughs> it used to be that your teammates get the exact same bonus. Turns out it's a little bit too good. It's a, it's a little bit too good, man. So they changed it up and they made uh, it only half for your teammates so your teammates only get four of everything if you do the big one i might also do the small one which is six for everything and for my teammates uh, only three but it's still more or less permanently because usually i should be pumping those meals one after another after another after another after another but uh because i suck at video games uh this is not quite the reality Gotta hand it to ya. Um, my application by uh, Face Clan actually got 
denied. They said my 360 no scopes weren't lit. I suit him, of course. I'm gonna just let that stand. Get tiles already? Two months. Actually, building too many camps for that then. I'm gonna build another house since I have one more space. And you can maybe give me the style over. I build my army because my war camp. I get his war camps in for a minute, and right after I give the tile back to him because I think I don't need a big army of. <clears throat> get another camp then i could always get eight army which i think is enough after the first push but for the first push i'll actually have uh, 14. possible i only have 800 gold because i didn't perma meal and other than that i'm actually kind of ready Upgrades are through. Break that down and heal my war chief. And you know what? Because it's such a great day, I'm gonna build another scarecrow right here, right into their kitchen, man. So always when they need to run around, <laughs> have a bloody scarecrow in their way. They're gonna think like dentists, man. You bloody idiot! Why are you the mayor of this town, putting scarecrows everywhere? <laughs> I'm sitting in my little town hall there, uh, having a good time, having a generally good time. You know what I mean. Just balling. I can get an army and just block that easily. I think I should do that, huh? Yeah, that's very nice. That is very nice. First. You want it? Uh. Because he wanted to let me the last hits for the mobs over there, so I get the military experience. But what does the military experience make for me? It's basically putting like a paper of gold over a turd. And now saying it's worth one million dollars. But it's golden, man. It's golden. <laughs> It's still scroll army, man. Still don't hit. <laughs> no, like, no damage. You need the damage. Yes! Attack at all cost. Great if needed. Oh, we don't let them go into our tower. We can basically like play a linebacker, you know? I have no clue about football, but... <laughs> Looks more looks like basketball, right? They come left, we go left, we go right.
Get my hood. Turn it to all of us, okay? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my We need some basketball explanation right here. Is he a big fan of it? I know he's American and that, uh, of course, that basketball is like a huge thing there. Getting bigger in Germany, honestly. I think only because the uh, 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 Germany, man, it's so... Uh, you need to win a World Cup here, so your sports actually gets uh, taken seriously in this country, I feel like. Like, basketball is around for such a long time already, and I feel like Alba Berlin, for example. Like, for a long, long time and known by a lot of basketball fans uh, in Germany. I don't know how known they are actually internationally. But never really, you know, never really got taken serious that much. Where are they? Going for the kobolds, I'll help. No! Unlucky! Ah, I got eight army now. Develop tiles. The Blood Moon doesn't hit yet. Me losing my army is not bad. Like he can't try trade the tile back to me uh, when the opponents are on there. I didn't think about that, that when they're pushed they can't give me the tile anymore. That's why my no right now. And now we wait it out, right? I don't like them healing. I don't really want to fight them. I really need to send a big army there. One warrior is enough. You know what the best thing is? Running away. Then when he thinks you come back, you go again. <laughs> this is like the most annoying thing. You run in. Huh? And then you don't run back. Like instantly go back again. No! Losing worries after worries, but we're winning so much time, which is so much more important against Blood Moon. Ah, uh, no, just kidding. Oh no. That's a, such a weird situation that would never happen in Northgard. <laughs> yeah, kind of, kind of. There's actually situations where stuff like that can happen. Uh, yeah, what were happening were that Blood Moon were going. The Blood Moon is the event that is not in the game anymore because it's overpowered. And uh, while the event, all your units will get plus 50% attack power while they are outside of your, like inside of enemy territory, I think. At least outside of your own territory. So that means defending is absolute trash at the Blood Moon time. So what we did right now there, we're just trying to keep the timer low 
by keeping them in fight. Like, as long as you are in fight, the timer doesn't go down, right? We are in fight right now. As soon as they're going out, the timer will tick down. But as soon as we are fighting, we're fighting. That's what we were doing. We were always sending in units, basically forcing a fight. Then right go back out just to let the timer sink. He's now trying to tile lock me. Also a different system. Uh, which is very fair that he tile locks us right now. Yeah. Good. Uh, because we did the thing before that were just as scummy. Keeping them in the tile like this is... If you're saying, hey, we're playing that game, then we're playing that game. Then we're playing it completely. Then we play it with tile locking. We play it with everything. So it's absolutely fair that the tile locks us here. Oh, little, little lucky. No, 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 no. Leave him alone. Leave him alone right now. Leave him alone. Leave him alone. Nah, no, stop. Oh, no. <laughs> Come on, Gordon! Gordon, run! Gordon Ramsay, by the way. He's the king of the cooks, so it must be Gordon Ramsay. It was style locking. Uh, when we want to go into this tile here, he can run into this tile here, and then this is basically an occupied tile, and you're not allowed to go into the next tile. Um, yeah, I didn't even explain to the end. Like, we were dancing here all the time to get the time lower until the Blood Moon runs out. I think that is logic also, right? Forgot to say it. I could win so much time here. I lost everything, yeah. Yeah. In the end, we won through a little bit of cheese. But it is a cheesy event, right? <laughs> it's a cheesy event. <laughs> We reacted to it with a little cheese. Very cheesy game, all in all. The only thing that would have been fair is uh, if Piratenhut's um, eye lock would have worked completely and we would have been completely wrecked for. Sorry, not happy as Marlboro. That's Satch, man, that's Satch. Just a little cheese in your ratatouille. Yeah, there's, there's always a little bit of cheese in there, right? Hmm? Teach me not destroy me. <laughs> oh, you're not winning them all. That's the first thing you should really, really learn. Uh, I've learned that times and times and times and times again. <laughs> you are not winning them all and definitely oftentimes it's just not in your control, right? Um, no, I feel like Piratenhut and Dredden did the great thing. They pushed forward when the event were going on. And if we react wrong, we just lose the game outright. We just cheese the hell out of the timer there, uh, when they were in here. a little bit i don't know if fire dreaden is fall fully down on the system i know pirat and hoot 120 percent is you know, that's how everything is going what it's supposed to do in which situation uh but in this situation when three different players are basically cheesing 
and uh, you can't handle that alone. Can't handle that alone. You definitely need other players that just as much understand the system, so you know what you are doing there, basically. Right? But I can tell you, this is not all Novgorod. A bunch of players don't really know how to do that. Just the higher level you get, I feel like the more you are. It's a necessity to know about the system, so they aren't used to. I can tell you in this game I did a lot of things right uh, I did a lot of things wrong and how it's looking right now I will probably win it in the end this is not great like what I did here worked that great and in the end I get the uh, my brain gets the thing like this were good when I would have lost it, I would have maybe thought about which mistakes I have made and how I could, like, not do them. Which I'm not gonna make right now. Because, hey, I won, right? But, so, everything went great. No. <laughs> not everything went great. I built the stove too late. I should have mealed a little bit earlier. The one dock decision is extremely questionable. A lot of questionable decisions that I made this game. So, I feel like out of losses, I uh, you're way more willing to learn, like... I don't know, like, you kind of need a mindset for that, right? But I feel like I'm not having the super perfect. Like, I could be a pro gamer. Because I think I can't be honest enough with myself already, right? You know what I mean? Like, if you're really professional in some game or in anything, whatever it is, you need to be brutally honest with yourself and um know exactly what your weaknesses are so you are uh working on them because you want to get better right it'll be the best i think i would have such a hard time with that i don't think that's fun oftentimes to like clearly show yourself what you are bad at and um also look at how you uh, do that and right? that gets you <laughs> it gets more in your head I would find think that were would be pretty tough honestly But hey, you also have the other side of then seeing you conquering them, probably. GG! GG! This one. Nice one. A little bit of uh, Blood Moon again. A little Blood Moon action. In the end, I'll say, of course, like, I'm glad that it's not in the game. I'm glad it's not in the game. But for a few weeks, maybe playing around with it a little bit, it seems pretty cool. Defending a Blood Moon. Yeah, 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 yeah. We were in a fortunate position here. We were... Yeah, it's absolutely, it's dumb. It is dumb. I said it's fun to play around it would actually be pretty cool but that's again that's too much work i guess like i have a Draugrheim version without the blood moon uh because i feel like if we binge in community games uh Draugrheim now and we have the blood moon showing up that often um it will decide a lot of games and pretty quickly show why it's not part of the game anymore um i'm also i work two times now in the team that in the end profited from the blood moon more or less right i feel like in a long game piratenhood just uh, i don't know hard to say 
But yeah, like Piratenhut in the longer game, like if you give him enough time, he will destroy. I just don't know how quickly you can build up an eco with beer. But if he would have Kraken, for example, I don't think we would have much of a shot in a normal game. Not like super insane, right? But like there's eco clans, we would have a problem. And now with a Blood Moon, also forced to go forward. Because you need to do it, otherwise the other ones come forward. And they were forward, like they took the good position. And uh, would have gone pretty wrong first. Pretty wrong. Yeah, just enjoy it. And if you can stand it, we can still go like over to a normal map. Just like the looks of Draugrheim too, and the uh, bear dens. Actually, uh, that is the reason why Draugrheim is actually overpowered for wolf. Absolutely insane. Like, uh, the wolf clan now gets a tile where bears respawn, basically, with the spiders. This is why Draugrheim, I think, were never really in ranked, because the wolf clan is just... Oh, respawning bears! Nobody take that tile! <laughs> if somebody takes that tile, I gotta cut your head off! <laughs> My chief dead? What? Because the spider respawned or what? Respawning spider. Bear respawn, yeah. Well, that's uh, not too good. Uh, shift, shift. Like, you did something right when you joined the lobby, Zizu. You did something right. You came into the lobby and then you picked the wolf clan. Did work. Everything were going. You were right on path. You were right on path. <laughs> Then he said, no, I'm going to play horse. <laughs> <laughs> this is where it all went down the drain. Hey, guys, we're generally super fun game here. Uh, always glad to play a little bit on um, Roggerheim. Love it. And thanks for jumping into the game. Pirat Nude, Zizu, Malboro, uh, Dredden, Zizu, of course. And I don't know if Maxu is from the stream, but I think he is. Yeah. Waiting. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ridico jump with. I didn't think about that even. I didn't even think about that. <laughs> mm. uh, we weren't trapped with you. You were also trapped with us. <laughs> right? <laughs> Who's trapped with who? Yeah. I didn't think about that, that as soon as we decolonize it, we can just all jump on you. I would have probably realized in the moment the tile actually decolonized. I think in that moment it would have like... <laughs> in the back of my head. <laughs> Guys! Jump on them! <laughs> but in that moment, I didn't think about it. I was just like, oh no, they're gonna push us. Win as much time as possible. Oh my god, if they come into my tile, I'm fucking toast. Oh my god, we need to react. <laughs> I didn't think about this. <laughs> Holy moly. But yeah, we're a pretty fun game. Pretty fun game. <laughs>